Hey guys, welcome back to Personality Traits. Welcome back to the Start the Timer. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Make thinking problems. about what I'm, what I'm going to say, not what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's always how it is with you. You know actions speak louder than words. I know. Mm. Although I, I should say that next time you probably shouldn't whip out your dick in public like that. Probably, but that's pretty much that's a, that's a very strong action. It speaks very loudly, regardless of the inspirational speech that followed it. Uh, yeah, you it changed uh, a lot of people's lives that day. Not, most of it, not for the better. Though. Sonic Adventure Two Battle. What about Sonic Adventure? Amy two doing her little speech and this really awkward body movements as she does it. <laughs> I don't remember stuff like that, man. From that from that playthrough, you know, what, number one thing I remember. What? Wait, Sonic Adventure Two Battle. Oh, yeah. I Actually, I do remember something from that, but it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I said welcome to personality traits mm. is because uh, uh, as I've gone through these uh, difficulties in the last few weeks, mm. um, I learn more about myself. Oh, yeah. Um, so one of those things is I'm a pretty chatty person. I can't just sit in a room with people and not say anything because I get bored. <laughs> okay. Um, Interesting. Interesting. And then the other thing is that I care a huge amount about how other people are feeling. How they are feeling. Yeah, so like if I'm talking to someone, um, That's okay. what's, impo- what's really important to me is um, getting a gauge on how they're feeling about about talking to me, really. Being able to read people. Because I really hate, well, not even trying to read people, just trying not to offend them, I guess. Mm. And trying not to, like, trying not to have it so that at the end of the day, Ooh. we part ways and it's all good. Right. I like that. Uh, I even I like that in text message conversations when I'm talking to a mate and I'm like... Try- except for me, where we use the, the least amount of text than possible. <laughs> yeah, we said like... <laughs> We're very straight four, to the point. Four messages. They're just the, the, you send one that said, we've run out of Borderlands episodes... Yeah. Organizing the recording session. Shit. Yep. Fuck. I can do this Fuck. day. Yeah. And then the next bit was organizing Aaron. Aaron will more likely be in the Borderlands 2 stuff. Uh, yeah, he'll probably be in when we return that. Oh, shit. Mm. We got a heavy gooner. What's the most recording sessions we've had in a series? I feel Majora's like Mask. It's, it's got to be Majora's Mask. <laughs> Did 120 mm. episodes. In well, there. here's the thing about Majora's Mask. We did, I know we did each like temple and area, like okay. one per session. So yeah. there's four temples. And then I think there might have been like one or two more. So there would have been six at the most, I would say. Right. For Majora's Mask. So We're doing I, Borderlands 2 for a while. Borderlands 2 might be the longest. Because yeah. um, usually Borderlands 2 is like what we record last during the day. I think we were, we started, what series were we doing oh, when we, when we started Borderlands 2? What's this guy? Mm. Bye bye. I think we were playing there. Cuphead and Mario Sunshine oh, when yeah, we yeah, started yeah. Borderlands 2. Yeah, that sounds right. So we're doing Mario Sunshine and then we had to, uh, we didn't have enough time to um, do Cuphead because we needed some episodes to put up. Really so we started Borderlands that. 2. All right. Connection to Atlas headquarters is still intact. When you're ready, Vault Hunter. I'm ready right now. So Smack. Everything's just happening <gasps> right. So. Hi, you've reached Reese Strongfork, CEO and wartime general of Atlas Corporation. Just a quick question. Who the hell is this and how did you get on my secure line? Reese, relax. It's Lorelei. We've taken back Watershed Base with a little help. I've got... Hang about. What is that thing on your face? Oh, this? <laughs> this is my siege mustache. The uh, troops love it. Anyway, uh, who's your friend? I'm a vault hunter. I'm on a mission for the Crimson Raiders. Vault hunters? Crimson? Oh, holy crap, yes! <laughs> oh, uh, how, how many troops did you bring? 20,000? 50,000? Got me, got my mech. We'll be fine. What? Oh, come on! I- I can't take back this city with a single-digit army! They're good, Reese. Really good. And we need all the help we can get. Bandits are pouring into the city, and they're working with Malawan. Looks like Katagawa's made a deal with the Calypsos. Perfect. Everybody's just piling on. Well, new friend, you showed up at the right time. 
My top agent is gearing up to strike at Malawan's strategic gigamine. If they are after the vault, that's where the intel will be. Go meet up with my agent. Reese, out. Right. While you go meet Reese's agent, I'm gonna get this base back online and start securing more of the city. Oh, before you head off, I've got something for you. What'd you get? What'd you get? It's a game, probably. I think I know what it is, actually. Since you're heading downtown, I'm hooking you up with a cyclone. Yeah, cyclone. Whoa. I'm not an, I'm not into cyclones. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of devastating and destroy the environment and everyone's yeah. home. I don't think I'd be able to get into a romantic relationship with a cyclone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you don't know who Reese is. Mm. He was one of the main characters you played as in uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Mm. Yeah. So he used to work for Hyperion. He was a little Hyperion. I think he was like an engineer or desk jockey. I can't quite remember. And he goes on a big adventure, opens a vault and stuff like that, and s manages, essentially by the end, to inherit Atlas. Huh. Uh, well, not inherit, but he becomes CEO of Atlas. And at that point, Atlas was basically, like, not even a company anymore, but he uh, he's, 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 he's built it back up, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And the reason people bring attention to his mustache is because he didn't used to have one. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got all three of these. Um, do you want to build a car for us? You can use whatever one you want. Okay. Oh, uh, God. Um. <laughs> it's gonna be disgusting to look at. Yep. <laughs> Looks like a Hot Wheels thing. <laughs> yeah. Man, I only ever owned one Hot Wheels uh, thing, and it was one with a big octopus on it. Right? It was like a little track, and went around in like a big figure eight or something, and then you'd you'd fly into an octopus, and it would destroy its tentacles, or like a Kraken thing, right? And I literally. Literally only won it and got it because I liked octopuses. And I still do. <laughs> and krakens and stuff. Octopi, I suppose, would be the more correct thing. If Stephanie can find a, a, a picture of it, put it up on the screen right now. There, there it is. This is disgusting. Yep. I love it. <laughs> um, alrighty. Here's our new ride. Look at that. Wow, it looks horrendous. <laughs> Good job, my beanie. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. It's blue. It suits the scenery. Screwed. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing. Yeah, it really that. stands out. Yeah. Well, that's what you want in a car. Something bright, glaring, and something that stands out. <laughs> Everyone else looks terrible compared to us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They're the people with the wrong fashion choice. Exactly. I just want something that really, really pops in every way it can. And it certainly does. But I didn't want to go the Tonka truck route with it. <laughs> no, you wanted to go the uh, Hot Wheels way. Yeah. That's fine. Or maybe even a Beyblade, I don't know. You may want to put walls up as well. There. Yeah. Invasion. Look at this. Look at it go. This invasion must have been going on for ages. Uh, it's been a little while at least, yeah. There, okay, there's there's so literally a wall. It's a big screen. That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, he spotted me. Not anymore. <laughs> Can't see me if you didn't have eyes. Yeah. Come on, there we go. Put your head down so I can hit it. Basically, you want to hear an embarrassing story about those guys? Mm -hmm. I did not know for some reason that that was their weak point for a little bit too long, I think, and I just chipped them away. Because if you just fight them without shooting, that you can kill them without shooting their weak point, but it takes a long the, time. The big thing on their back. Yeah. I don't really want a flash trooper. Mm. No, we want a pretty um. Pretty ordinary looking one. <laughs> okay, I just see love your joke, man. <laughs> you really spilling out the good jokes today. Yeah. So we're coming up on a character yep. that I don't know if you have seen yet. I don't know how much like how much pre-release footage have you seen of this game? Not much at all. So, I, I mean, I saw a video by Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. That doesn't really say much. But at all. no, it's just sort of whatever they were allowed to show. Like, you showed a few highlights of battles and... Well, they revealed a lot of things the scene. early. Um, but there's a character about to meet, and I think you'll like them. Okay. Um, and it, if, it, if it's a surprise, then excellent. If it's not, then, well, yeah. it's still pretty cool. That weapons depot's a juicy target, but they've got an impenetrable security force field surrounding it. If you somehow crack it open, you're going to find some quality firepower in there. If you like this guy for a stereotypical British accent, yeah. You really hate this no. character, don't you? Yeah. You fucking despise I love her accent. I don't know if I understand. I think it's just a little bit too much. I think when you're voicing a character, 
Oh, actually, you know what? I should talk about these robots. I think when you're voicing a character um, that's like a, essentially a cartoon character, the uh. more unique and interesting sounding your voice, the better. Mm. That's my philosophy because it makes them stick out, makes me remember them more. I, I don't know. I think I think it's, it's, it's like, like um, I think some of the most iconic characters have some of the most like interesting and unique voices. What's the show that we like? Is a show where everyone's a bad guy? And like I think it was a guy called Voltar or something like that. Oh, the League of Super Evil. Yeah. Voltar, Doctor Frog, and I forget who. It was. Yeah, they were be like, and Voltar had like that sort of claptrap kind of voice. Excessively. I thought, I thought he spoke like this all the time. Mm-hmm. But he was always the League of Super he was Evil. really excited. I don't know. Because he was like he was like a small man. Yeah. He looked a lot like it. I think it was like also a deliberate thing though from my part. Mm. I wouldn't doubt it. I took inspiration from a lot of things. Yeah. Stephanie put up a picture of Volta and then put up a picture of my character next to him, Kid. Yeah. Who copied who? Hmm. Also put a picture of Hollow Knight in there just for reference sake because <laughs> uh, my mother I, th- I said this in a, one of my own shows I should I hate I really should not one of the things I hate most about YouTube is <laughs> of the many things no um, is that you, people just assume YouTubers just assume that you've seen all of their stuff and that's not correct mm-hmm. I said in one of my own shows that my character kid uh, my mother believes is very reminiscent of Hollow Knight which is interesting for multiple reasons because Hollow Knight came out after I created kid yeah. But the c- people who created Hollow Knight are in the exact same city that I live in, which, mm. if, for those of you who don't know, we live in Adelaide, and that is a very, very uh, uncommon city to find people in, if that makes sense. It's very small yeah. and forgettable. Most people probably don't even know if it e- exists. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if 90% of the people who watch this don't know that Adelaide is a real city. Uh, so my mother is convinced that they might have actually stolen my design, which is kind of hilarious. And actually, speaking of stolen designs, remind me in the next episode, because there's something about Borderlands 3 that I want to talk about in regards to stolen designs. Okay. All right, next time, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.